It was a snowy evening on the island of Sodor. Thomas was making his way back to the junction for his final destination train of the day. He was making his way slowly because of the slippery rails and whatnot. Holy shit! But then, his driver could see something very familiar or unfamiliar in the distance. His driver stopped. Thomas was terrified. There was an old bunker. A bunker that had not been attended to in some time. But then Thomas realized who the bunker belonged to. He was heartbroken and devastated. He knew who the bunker belonged to, and so did his crew. Come on, Thomas, said his driver. I think it's best we get going. We'll leave that there. We'll come back for it another time. Mutually, Thomas agreed, and so did the trucks. They saw how sorry Thomas was. They reached the end of the line. Thomas was uncoupled from the trucks, and soon Thomas made his way to the sheds to have a personal reflection on what he saw. Thomas couldn't hold it in anymore. <laughs> they began crying. <laughs> Everyone, including myself, overheard Thomas <laughs> sobbing in disbelief. We were sad ourselves. We could understand the pain and the suffering that had happened all those years ago. <laughs> oh dear, I said. I hope my brother's all right. But then Sir Topham Hatt walked out of the station office. Oh dear, said Sir Topham Hatt. I think Thomas may have uh, seen a haunting memory from his past. This is not good at all. I fear that this could trigger something. Something bad in the future. I don't want it to happen, but it could be the case. <sighs> this is not going to look good at all. No indeed, sir, said Gordon. He felt sorry for Thomas. And just as he was about to finish his sentence, the guard blew his whistle, and Gordon made his way with the express. Gordon trundled along the line, making up for lost time due to a faulty signal. Thomas continued to sob, his eyes red with tears. He knew who that engine was. The trucks saw everything and felt sad themselves. I took the trucks away to their respective sidings, and so with the brake van. That night, the bunker laid cold and silent in the same field. It did belong to an engine an engine that Thomas used to work with a long time ago, before the Northwestern Railway was formed. But that, of course, would be a story for another day. <laughs>